Welcome back to Fry Minis. I'm Eric. And I'm Julie. And today we're kicking off Bander Hobtober. But before we dive in, we want to give a big thank you to our patrons, the Spud Club. We wouldn't be able to do cool things like this without their help. Are you interested in supporting the channel? Please consider joining the Spud Club at patreon.com slash fryminis or becoming a YouTube member of the Tot Club. Just hit that join button here on YouTube to learn more. So what is Bander Hobtober? It is a month-long celebration of D&D's greatest creature, the Banderhob. We are running a painting contest with awesome prizes, putting out free homebrew content, and much, much more. But before we get into all that, let me tell you why I love Banderhob so much. It's actually quite simple, because they're the absolute best. That's it. Eric had this mini in his collection, and I didn't even know what it was. I just knew it was a fat, frog-like creature with a giant puffy belly and a silly smile, and he kind of looks like he's doing the robot, so I love him even more. I love him so much that I actually kept this mini on my desk throughout the pandemic and even before then, actually. So when I eventually learned the lore, I was surprised and disappointed, um, especially because at the start of the pandemic, when my colleagues' kids kept popping into our meetings, which I loved, um, I would have the mini dance across my camera to entertain the children. Oops, they eat kids. But Thankfully, anybody can homebrew anything in this wonderful game we all love, so I can homebrew them to be gentle giants who are absolutely perfect in every single way. It doesn't take much work. And on our Discord server, our wonderful community of friends have jumped on this reimagining and shared their minis and stories and jokes and given me just all the squeals. I'm just in it for the jowls. All right, so the Bander Hobtober painting contest. Just join us on the Fry Minis Discord at discord.gg slash fryminis for all the details. But basically, it runs through the end of October and it's free to enter. Paint up a Bander Hob-ish mini. It doesn't have to literally be a Bander Hob, but something Bander Hob adjacent that's within the spirit, painted to look like one. Upload a picture of it and that's it. Julie and I will each pick a winner of our choosing. Plus, we'll have a vote on Discord for the fan favorite winner and we'll announce all the winners in a future video. But a contest needs prizes, right? Yes! Each winner will win a $50 miniature market gift card, and if the winner happens to be in the US, we'll also ship them a print of this awesome Banderhab art we commissioned by the wonderfully talented Savi. We've got a link to the description if you want to check out more of their incredible work, and their commissions are open, so don't hesitate to reach out. They were a dream to work with. We're also releasing free Fry Minis homebrew content so you can get a little Banderhop fun in your D&D 5e game right now. You can get PDFs of all of this at discord.gg slash fryminis. Fun fact, our bronze and higher patrons get free PDF content like this every month. The Banderborn are a playable race similar to the Banderhobs. For all the lore details, check out that PDF. But basically, a benevolent witch was tired of how the Banderhobs were being treated, so she created the Banderborn. Smaller and far more friendly, they are jolly vegetarians who love eating cheese and gardening and singing to bunnies. Banderborn can add plus two to one ability and plus one to a different one, or plus one to three different abilities. They are beefy, medium-sized humanoids, topping out at eight foot six inches and about 830 glorious pounds. They have 60 feet of green shaded dark vision and no common plus one other language. The Banderborn can use their huge, beautiful mouths to take a bite attack for 1d6 piercing damage. It's a simple melee weapon, just like the Dampier lineage, so you can absolutely become a paladin to divine smite with your mouth. And you can choose to chomp down and grapple a creature with it for special occasions. And last, the Banderborn can shadow step as a bonus action to a dim or dark area once per short rest. I love our take on a playable Banderhob type creature. One thing we didn't include is the Banderhob's tongue. For that, take a look at the Path of the Banderhob Primal Path for Barbarians. Eric's got that. Have you ever wanted to turn into a Banderhob? We sure did. An important design choice we made with the subclass was to not just duplicate the Banderborn's features, so you can absolutely play a Banderborn Path of the Banderhob Barbarian. When you rage, you can physically transform and take on some cosmetic effects of a Banderhob. A toady face, big belly, whatever and you become large. As a bonus action, you can now make an attack with your tongue. It's 10 foot reach, 1d6 necrotic damage. If you hit a medium or smaller creature, you can force a strength save or pull it to within five feet of you. 
Also at third level, you gain proficiency in stealth and can now hide as a bonus action. At sixth level, your tongue's reach grows to 15 feet and bumps up to 1d8 damage. But now when you pull a creature with your tongue, you can choose to swallow it a number of times equal to your proficiency bonus per long rest. You only swallow it for a second though. The creature takes 3d6 necrotic damage and you spit it out prone on the ground next to you. At 10th level, the Bander Hob's tracking abilities come into play, allowing you to cast Locate Object and Locate Creature as ritual spells. Finally, at 14th level, you can't be charmed or frightened, and swallowing a creature does 3d8 necrotic damage instead of 3d6. We gave a lot of mechanical weighting to the extra attack and forced movement ability, but I think you could have a bunch of fun with this. We've also got some super cool Banderhobtober, Banderhob Fan Club, and Banderbarian merch at streamlabs.com slash fryminis slash merch. Links for everything are in the description. And while you're scroll down, leave a comment telling us what you love about the Banderhob. I'm sure that it's everything, and I just can't wait to read them all. We hope you have a ton of fun with Banderhobtober. Please join us over at discord.gg slash fryminis for more bander fun. As always, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.